Chef Duke Cicero here in the French Quarter in New Orleans. Uh, and we're gonna make a half and half, is what they call it. Shrimp and oyster, Louisiana shrimp and Louisiana oyster po' boy. And we're gonna do it the correct way. So stay tuned, we're gonna put it together. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season our flour and our corn flour. All right, we're gonna use a little granulated garlic in each one. A little bit of lemon pepper in both. Now, you can put whatever you want, but this is how I like to do it. This is a little blackening seasoning. And this is a little bit of Creole seasoning. And then we're just gonna mix this up. Now, the trick of this is Louisiana shrimp, and this is about a 64 to, to a 70 count uh, uh, shrimp. Already been uh, peeled in the vein, uh, and uh, this is our oysters. Now, we're gonna take our oysters and put them straight in because they're full of you know, how much water they are in their own liquid. We're gonna put them in. We don't want a big batter on our oysters. We don't wanna do it. So we're gonna just take our oysters and put them in our corn flour our seasoned corn flour. And we're just going to toss them with our hand. That's what you're looking for right there in the oyster. That's a Louisiana oyster back in it. And that's the breading you're looking for. Now, we're going to take our oysters before you put them in your fryer, which is at 350, I'm gonna shake the, this is very important, guys. Make sure you take the excess corn flour off. And we're gonna go right to our fryer. Now, do not overcook your oysters, folks. They don't need to be, you're just looking for a golden brown, no more than two to three minutes. If you like them hard, then you can do them hard. That means to cook them a little bit more. In New Orleans, this is so important. Uh, the original po' boy was made with just french fries on po' boy bread and gravy. And it was for guys that were working offshore that will and that's where they get the name pool boy it's a very cheap sandwich that was made for a hungry man the original pool boy that's oh man god bless louisiana when we finish frying our oysters we're going to take it in our dump rack with our little rack that's inside to take that Excess, but if you do them right, they don't have enough oil. A little excess oil, and look at that. That is some beautiful oysters there. Nice and crunchy outside and juicy on the inside. Now we're going to come back. We're going to do our other half of the other half and half. With this part, we're going to go with our shrimp and our flour, then our egg wash, which is just milk and three eggs. So I would do two cups of milk and about three or four eggs, just enough to give it that... Uh, adhesive for the flour and the corn flour to stay on it. We're going to take our beautiful shrimp we're going to toss it up in here shake off. We're using a two finger method that means get both of your hands dirty we're going to put it in there we're going to try to get as much flour off as we can possibly get into there, we're gonna mix it all up, and then one more time, into our corn flour. Let some of that excess egg wash get off. And then the two hand method again. Toss it. 
a nice little basket. Again, taking our shrimp, getting the access off. Straight into our fryer. Again, 350, the same right. way we cooked out. Again, another important thing, do not overcook your shrimp. Nothing worse than breaking your tooth on an overcooked shrimp. Don't do it. We're looking for that golden brown look. That's the color, guys, we're looking for. I'm taking the excess oil off in my, in my dump tray. You gotta taste, you gotta taste it to make sure it's right. Woo! Hot and ready to go. Crunchy, very soft on the inside, unbelievable. Now I'm going to tell you how to put it together. We're getting ready to put our half and half, half shrimp, half oyster, Louisiana seafood, baby, po' boy together. And this is what's very important, is to get fresh bread. It's incredible. And I leave it like this, because you know why? We're going to stuff it with great seafood. And the way we do it here in Louisiana, I like to put a little bit of the excess bread out. Just a little bit. And I have butter. Now, if you like mayonnaise, and a lot of you don't even know, in New Orleans, when we want a, when we want a sandwich dressed, because when up north, if you say dressed, they look at you like you're crazy. Dressed means everything on it. And here's what we're going to do. This is just some melted butter. And I'm just dabbing it all over the bread butter. And I just melted the butter. I didn't clarify it, so remember that. Now. Shredded lettuce is very important. Nice part of shredded lettuce on top of it. I put it on one side of it. We're gonna take our oysters and our shrimp. We're gonna mix them all together because every time we take a bite, we wanna taste some oysters, we wanna taste some shrimp. And we're gonna pile it on. Look at that big oyster, oh man. Oh man, this is great. Tomatoes, you can use Romans, you can use whatever you like, generous. We're going to put, this is important guys, pickles. I used to date a girl named Pickles. She was a little sour. And then this is up to you, a little hot sauce. Here's the tricky part. Oh my God. Both fingers right through the middle. On my plate. That my friend is a half and half Louisiana seafood po' boy. Chef Duke LaCicero from Cafe Giovanni. We just finished our half and half seafood po' boy, Louisiana seafood, idolchef.com. Keep cooking.